Hey Flob, we've got some shocking news to discuss today. I read that Meta is completely shutting down the Echo VR servers come August 1st. So today I have brought on Bot with me here to kind of discuss and just go over like, what the heck is going on? What is going on? Wait, you don't know what's going on? I thought you knew what was going on. For those of you who don't know Bot, he's kind of like my guy in the chair, you know, the guy behind the scenes who does all the editing for the YouTube channel, the technical stuff, and... I am technically in a chair, so this is accurate. So we are going to be watching Meta CTO Andrew Bosworth's video where he explains why they're closing down Echo Arena, and we're going to look a little deeper and discuss the topic. So let's go ahead and queue up that video. Wait, if you're here, who's going to start the video? I thought you were. Fine, I'll get it. So first question, is there any way you guys could keep Echo VR up? Let's hear what Andrew has to say about that. So what happened here? Well, we had a game, we loved it. And it was a huge part of the evolution of virtual reality, multiplayer, a community-based game, a game that has to had esports potential. And we kept it going for a long time. The Ready It Done team was real proud of it, understandably. And then ultimately it just dwindled. The user base is small. It's loyal as all get out, but it's small. It's measured in the low 10,000s. And unfortunately keeping things alive takes work. This is not like a return on investment money standpoint. It's just those resources could be put to other uses that I so when he says small, low 10,000s isn't really small. I still play games that have maybe a few thousand players a day. Well, yeah, and that's like, that's one of the reasons why he's not gonna keep it up is because there's not enough players. Well, I think what, this is speculation, but I feel like what he's meaning to say is it's not generating the maybe revenue that they're hoping for. Hmm, let's see what else he has to say think will be useful to the now tens of millions of people who are in VR and at some point you have to make those choices and we have some regulatory constraints that we are required to do that make it even more expensive to keep up this is the part of so by regulatory is this something that meta is imposing is it talking about the cost of the servers is it some sort of requirement that meta has for them because the you know, there's nothing stopping them from giving people the access to run community servers, but they're opting to shut down the game as a whole. And like he mentioned there, you know, I've watched not a lot of VR stuff on YouTube, but the few that I've seen has been Echo Arena, and they've been up on stage with their team jerseys laying on the ground, like trying to snipe each other, like totally Ender's Game style. Right. That's the one that I've seen the most about, like, surrounding VR tournaments for. Right. Right. It seems, I mean, in my limited perception, I feel like it's been very successful. In low 10,000s, it's not just a few people. I mean, we've got Battlefield and Call of Duty games that are still alive from 10 years ago that have a million players. Or yeah, and I less. mean, to be fair, you mentioned the, you know, millions of users on VR, but like, let's be real, not everyone is playing their VR every single day and, you know, playing the same games every day. Absolutely not. And I'll tell so you So right I now, think that there's still, I mean, I would say that Echo is still largely one of the most popular VR games. It seems to be. It's definitely up there with Beat Saber. I, I'd be curious what the actual numbers are. Um, let's see what he has to say. Jobs like mine that sucks. I have to make these calls. I'm sad about Portal, which I love. Literally, just now my wife was texting me the kids using Portal. They love it. I'm sad that we're not going to have new versions like of those. And we're supporting the ones that we have in market. Mm -hmm. I'm sad about Echo VR. We're going to support it until August, but then it's going to be out of market. Yeah. I'm sad because these things... Right, so for those of you who don't know, come August 1st, the servers are, they're closed. And uh, I, I do, I think it's interesting that he keeps going on and saying he's so sad about it. But, he doesn't want to do it, but- But he's still doing it. Again, I, I think somebody made the decision for him, and, and this is fine, um, but we're just trying to get to the real reasoning here. Speculation. Yeah, let's keep on. They are meant something to people. They had real value and purpose and they had intention and they brought people together and that's what we're trying to do as a macro thing. But I do need to think about return on investment and I'm not talking about money back to meta. I'm not talking about trying to make money. I'm talking about the return on the 
human capital, the people that could be doing something that's gonna affect millions of people, but instead they're trying to keep something alive that affects 10,000s of people. I love how deeply it affected those people, but I just gotta make those calls, it's part of my job. And so I stand. Yeah, I mean, ROI is money, <laughs> let's be real. And again, 10,000 people on a game is not, it's not, massive like say overwatch or league of legends or even counter-strike but right but compared to pc games absolutely. like in, in you v know or VR, even console like it's vr is smaller like it just is again i still play first person shooter games to this day that have maybe a couple thousand people online in a 24-hour period and it's fine um i i'd really like to focus on what he's saying though about how we're trying to divert all resources and all roi and, and money and all that stuff into possibly a new project and that sounds very promising um I, i'd like to hear more about this new project i don't know if he shares here but i guess we'll find out yeah let's see on it. i believe in it i think it's the right change but i don't expect you to like it i'm sad about it as well i will add one more thing on this i know people are really focused on it understandably which is that we looked at can we open source it and the answer is basically no it's like very deeply entangled with a bunch of our systems and there's no It'd be even less cost effective to do that. Can we spin it out or sell it? No, because we want the Ready at Dawn team to be continue to be focused on these other projects that we're excited about that I think are gonna have a bigger impact on a bigger number of people. I, I, I hate this era, maybe hate's a strong word. I very greatly dislike this era of game development where we can't run our own servers. Maybe the game wasn't developed with that in mind originally, and it really is a constriction. I, I'm not a programmer, I'm not a coder, so I can't say for sure. Um, but I just wish we'd get back to the day and age where we could stop supporting the game, but allow us to run our own stuff. Right. But I mean, it seems that it's pretty obvious also the reason why they won't let us do something like that, where they let people run their own servers, is because they're trying to make a new game and they probably want everybody to play that new game. Well, absolutely. I mean, look at Overwatch 1 and Overwatch 2. That's, that's, well, right. that's and the again, vibe that I get. Again, it's meta. It's they've, they've taken a game that it came out in what, like 2017? I think so. I think uh, it's been so, out for five years. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, five years still is like not a long time for a game. It's sad to see it die so yeah. quickly. And if this all pays off and their new game is some banger hit and it's everything we liked from the first game, but it's better in every way in the next one, then fine. But just these life cycles of pushing people into these new systems, it's, uh, I feel like it wears on some of us, absolutely. Right, and you know, I don't have the thousands of hours that most people have in Echo VR. Um, right. I, I really actually barely played it at all. I've seen some stuff on it, definitely not like I have with Beat Saber, but you know, compare it to that. If they were to shut down Beat Saber tomorrow and say, oh, no more, you know, I would I would cry. Like it would be, it would be a horrible, horrible day and I would be very upset. I've, you know, I've invested a lot of time and energy into a game like that. And I know other people have too. Like I know they had like game passes and stuff. Like it was a free game, but people have spent money on it. And they're, you know, they announced that they're not giving refunds to any of that. Like it's just, it's right. just done. Like everything you put into it, everything you bought, it, it's just August 1st, it's gone. In, in the digital age, where everything's digital and online and on the counts, you don't really own anything. It can be taken away like that. Well, as we're seeing done here. Right. Yeah. Um, we'll just have to see what, what they do in the future, but let, let's keep hearing what he has to say. On driving more adoption, more adoption means more developers, more developers means content for all of you to use. This is one of those things where I'm trying to take a long view, but we did look at other options and none of them really made sense for this. It's a bummer. I'm bummed about it. I know you're bummed about it and I will continue to gladly accept all the this, this outpouring of grief that you guys are expressing to me right now. Well, I'm gonna give y'all your due. John would not have shut down Echo VR. Now, his is a little bit of a tricky one because I'm trapped between two John Carmack principles. John is about maximizing user value. He hates to see people chasing speculative value. And in my opinion, that's what I'm trying to do. At the same time, John hates content that doesn't continue to exist. He's really proud of the fact that, and by the way, he has messaged me on this topic. I've talked to him, I don't have to ask. He's proud of the fact that there's people who are still running Quake servers. And the fact that this server was never architected to live on. Yes, <laughs> yes, the old Quake games are Unreal Tournament from 1999, exactly. But it has to be meta regulations preventing them from doing this. I, I, I see personally, yeah. this is a hot take. I see no other reason behind this. Because you clearly hear the developer say, or the CTO, I hate this, I don't like it. Uh, I'm paraphrasing, right? But this is negative, negative, negative. I don't want to do this. So what is forcing him to make this kind of decision? And I think really, again, speculation is very clear. This is a business monetization decision. Um, he wants to go on to continue to make games. 
and make things that we enjoy, but they need money to do that. And Meta has taken a cut out of all of this. So I, I just don't see any other way. Again, maybe a hot take um, and speculation, but that's that, that's from bleeding or seeing through all of this. Yeah. Yeah. Thumbs up. Like that really offends him, but he really wants to keep all this is content. This is like if books stopped existing at some point. It's weird to him that this content, this art form, doesn't continue to exist forever. So we're trapped between two principles on this one for sure. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. You know, let us know what your thoughts are on this whole situation. What games do you guys think you're going to be playing instead of Echo VR? You know, like what's what's going to replace it? What do you think is already replacing it? So for everyone who's just like dreading the idea that Echo VR is going to be shutting down its servers, there is a petition that has already got thousands of signatures that you guys can sign. I will have it linked in the description below. Well, actually, he'll he'll, he'll be the one who adds the link. Can, so can much, you, can so you much responsibility. <laughs> Thanks. I will try. Anyway, you guys, that is going to wrap up our video for today. Uh, definitely let us know in the comments below um, what your thoughts are. And I uh, look forward to hearing from you guys. We'll see you next time.